If you recently got accepted into a Masters of Computer Science program, first of all, I want to say congratulations. Now you might be very excited and very eager to start that first day of class and you're just waiting until then, but there are a few things that you can do right now to better prepare yourself for that master's program. The first thing is to ask for syllabi. Now you can ask for a syllabus from any course that you're particularly interested in, but you can ask from faculty, from staff, and even students of the program a syllabi of a course that you're interested in. Now asking for a syllabus for a course will help you prepare for that particular course. Even if it's from a different semester, it'll let you prepare how your calendar is going to look like, what material you're going to cover, and what things you may be used to and what may be new to you in the future. When I myself recently entered a master's in computer science program, one of the things that I wanted to know was how our course is going to look like. And in our orientation, we already had access to some of the core courses syllabi that we can look at. Now having this access to the syllabi was very helpful for me. I was able to see some course descriptions for the core courses that I was going to take and what was interesting to me, what I could do later, and what I could just plan for in the future. So I just recommend asking either the professor that's going to teach that class or students or even the staff of the program that you got accepted to for a sample syllabi or previous syllabi of a course. Everyone's very open to sending a syllabi to anyone who's interested in so you could get more information about that course. Now another thing that you can do is take a MOOC. Now if you don't know what a MOOC is, a MOOC is a massive open online course. Now these courses are free and open to anyone and there's so many subjects that MOOCs cover from different experts around the world. And if you haven't done so already, you can actually look at subjects that you're interested in around computer science, all the way from algorithms to data structures to software development and machine learning. Now one important thing to note is that these courses are an indication of the rigor that you're going to go through during your program, but it'll significantly help you get into the mindset of what an expectation is and just get you into that habit of learning more content in that format. For me, taking some MOOCs in the past have really helped me just appreciate how much I want to learn computing and software development. Sometimes when I'm taking a course in my program right now, I recall certain concepts that I was delving into earlier when I was taking a MOOC and I can just develop my interest even further to something I wasn't aware of before. So I recommend taking a MOOC in a class or subject matter that is really interesting to you. Even better, if you can find a MOOC that is taught by a professor in your program that you're going into, you can start to see their teaching style and get used to the type of content that they deliver. Now finally, something that can tremendously help you as you're approaching your program is to set a schedule. Now this may seem very obvious, but once you enter your master's program, your life may be radically changed. You have this whole new educational responsibility and it may cause for disruption in your life if you're not prepared for it. The purpose of setting a schedule before school starts is that you want to walk in on that first day of the semester like it's routine, like it's already a habit to you. And the expectation should be, okay, I can handle this load. Now times do change and the semester may seem very different from what you planned for beforehand, but the key issue is to not be caught off guard. The problem with being caught off guard is that you'll be spending more of the semester trying to catch up than trying to actually learn and feel fulfilled from the material that you're learning. You want to be spending a lot of time during the semester practicing and reviewing rather than learning things for the first time. As of now, I'm taking my master's program part-time and one of the things about studying part-time is that it's really easy to neglect your studies. Since your studies aren't full-time, it's not the full focus of your day. Sometimes you can push it off and neglect it and you can really play a game of catch up, always falling behind and not knowing where you stand. A schedule shouldn't feel painful. What it should do is really make you relieved because you know what you need to work on intentionally. So you're not stressing out, have I caught up on my work, am I supposed to be relaxing and basically all this confusion that can happen with decision making. So those are a few tips that I recommend as you're getting settled and trying to enter a new master's program 
so that you can get the most out of it once it begins. If you're new to this channel, my name is Cedric and I'm a master's student in computer science. I make videos about lifestyle, education, and growth, and if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing. But anyways, thanks for watching.